Here are your videos for solving rational equations. We'll go through these problems. They can at times be pretty lengthy and it's going to be important to just know what our steps are through these problems. Here's our first one, negative 2x over 3 minus 3 fourths equals negative 3x over 4. And the first step is to find the common denominator. Our denominators here are 3, 4, and 4. So for the common denominator, we will use 12. The most important thing to know about solving rational equations is to understand what we want to do with our common denominator. If this was a problem that was not an equation, just for example subtracting these two fractions, our next move would be to get equivalent fractions that both had a common denominator 12. But we do not want to take this same approach when we have the equal sign. As soon as we see that we have an equation, we take a different approach for using the common denominator. And again, the best thing you can do is to understand and, and memorize what we want to do when it comes to equations. Not convert all of these denominators into the common denominator 12, but what we do with equations is say, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator 12. And this is going to cancel our denominators. It's going to clean this problem up. It's not going to take us right to the solution, but it's going to clean this problem up. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. We're not rewriting all of these denominators. We're not going to multiply top and bottom by 3 or top and bottom by 4. We take a different approach because it's an equation. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I just laid out that we're doing a times 12 on both sides, but what, we're really, what we really want to do is multiply 12 to every single term that we see. So I'll have a 12 times the first term, this negative 2x over 3. Uh, in my experience, as some people, when they're doing this step, they like to make the 12 into a 12 over 1 because we're, it's more helpful to see that we're multiplying fractions. So if it's helpful to make it a 12 over 1, by all means do that. So our 12 over, over 1 times the first term, negative 2x over 3. Then we'll do a 12 over 1 times our second term, the negative 3 fourths. And on the right side, after the equals, we have 12 times negative 3x over 4. Now remember, this strategy, this approach that we're using, it is done to cancel all of these denominators. So when we do these multiplies, that's exactly what you should be looking for. How are we going to have our canceling? I wouldn't even really go ahead and multiply. I'm going to instead say, well, how is this 12 going to cancel with that 3? 12 over 3 is going to leave us with a 4, and that 3 is canceled. Here we have a 12 over 4 will cancel, and that's going to leave us with a 3. And another 12 cancel with 4. 12 over 4 equals 3. So I didn't really go ahead and do the multiply. My first thought is about how are we going to see the canceling. I hope that green ink is dark enough to see. Now that we've seen how things cancel, we want to do the multiply with what's left over. We have from this first term, 4 times negative 2x is negative 8x. In the middle, it's a 3 times negative 3. We have a negative 9. And after the equals, 3 times negative 3x, negative 9x. So there's our new equation. It's a lot cleaner. There aren't fractions like there were in the initial equation. What we need to do next is look at this equation and decide, is it a linear equation or is it a quadratic equation? What I'm looking for is the variable. Do we have any exponents on the variable? So I've got a negative 8x and a negative 9x, but I don't have any x squared. If I saw an x squared term, I'd know it would be a quadratic. And to solve a quadratic, we have a few ways of doing those, but it, it usually means put all of your terms onto one side equal to zero, and perhaps solve by factoring. With this one, it's a linear equation, so I'm back to thinking, just get all of my x terms onto one side and, and number to the other side, 
and that's how I solve a linear equation. So what I'll choose to do is move my negative 8x term over to the right side with this x term. The way I can move or cancel a term would be let's add 8x to both sides. Add 8x to both sides. We'll cancel there on the left side. We have a negative 9 we're bringing down on the left side. On the right side, a negative 9x with a positive 8x would be a negative 1x. And a couple ways we can finish up this last move. I have sort of a flow through linear equations. My last move is going to be divide both sides by negative 1 to get the x by itself. But if you spotted this negative 9 equals negative x and said, well, that just means that positive x equals positive 9, absolutely, definitely that works. So we get x equals 9. Oops, I sort of went off the page there. There we go. So there was my divide both sides by negative 1. Cancel here. So we have x equals negative 9 divided by negative 1, positive 9. And x equals 9. Remember, since we are solving equations, our answer should always be what does x equal. It's not about combining these to come up with a new expression. It's about what is the value of x that if we put it in place of this equation, it would make this equation true. So all of our answers for solving equations should be something like what does x equal? What does the variable equal in this equation?